two compost piles, 46 chickens. Let's get some work done. Did you guys see all those hitchhikers on my boots? Look at that. That's from, that's from yesterday and they're all over my clothes too. That's from pulling up that wire in the old, on the old cow lane.
I'm out of breath. This was perfect in the beginning. Now I'm sweating. Now I'm, it's like I'm in a sauna. So I guess I got to work out in a sauna. Earth's gym this morning. Okay, guys, you're free. It's always fun to let them off on new ground. They're a little timid after the move. You guys are going to love it, though. We got two compost piles for you. We got some vegetation, some old produce. Come on out. They're looking for their food. I haven't fed them yet. I'll get it for you. I just want you to put around on the compost a little bit. They'll have this a quarter level before the end of the day. Look at them getting the life out of there. There's food in there we don't even see. Did you guys see that? They just naturally come over here and start turning my compost pile. Look at them all. This is crazy. Look, duck getting in on the action. Look how much they've already turned that, guys. Steam coming off of it. I love you guys. You're so helpful. This is their winter run. Let me explain why this is such a good spot for it. First up, you see the chickens right here? Well, look right here. See that sun coming up? The sun goes there. This is the south side of the house. So this is gonna get the most amount of sun. So this is gonna be the warmest spot. The other reason I'm putting them here is we've got two compost piles. Amazing compost piles that's gonna give them something to do during the winter. And these compost piles are placed strategically too. They're gonna to get a lot of nitrogen from the chickens. They got a lot of nitrogen from the cows when they were here and in those stalls it was close. And there's access here. So we can bring in more carbon easily with trucks. And look, we've also got deep mulch. That'll prevent them from tearing up the ground. It also gives them something to do because there's life underneath this mulch. Plus they'll break it down into rich soil. This will be an amazing garden in the spring after you move them out. And one more thing, it's close to your resources. My water spigot is just right there. My food room, my feed room is just right there. So in the winter, it's cold. You don't want to be out long. It's just real quick and easy. Feed right there, water right there. Yeah. Take advantage of that winter rest. Just come out real quick, water them, feed them. Use the winter as a time for planning or research, hanging out with the family, whatever. Enjoy the season so you don't burn out. All right, happy composting, guys. Have a great day. You look very happy. Look, many of them aren't even going to their feed. They love the compost so much. Well, hey, do I get a greeting committee? How you doing? You feeling good this morning? All right, how's everybody doing? Let's check. How you doing, Mr. Brown? Loving your haircut, buddy. Yeah. You want a fruit, fruit pouch? Okay, I'll get you one. Here, you want this kind? Yeah. Okay, let me get it for you. There you go, buddy. You're welcome. Woo, hey, mother. Hi. It's warm in here. I know, it looks really cold. What are you working on? I am working on... Looks like bus stuff. I am looking at Ikea stuff because Stacy and I are hopefully gonna be making a trip on Sunday to Ikea. Nice. Yeah. The Charlotte one? Yeah, in Charlotte. Yeah, so I've got to hours. come up with a list of what we need to buy. What are some things on that list so far? Well, for sure I have like curtain rods. They're, it's like this, this type of nice curtain rod. I want to do those in the bus. So that's like the for sure thing that I have. And then I'm looking at lights for the kids' bedroom and I'm getting some stuff for Gideon's bed. I'm getting his sheets and duvet cover from there. And I'm sure there's other stuff. Look at you guys folding clothes. Jonah, this doesn't look like the most exciting thing for you to do, does it? But you do it anyway, don't you? Just that you don't seem to be too bothered. Hey, I like y'all's haircuts. You guys like your haircuts? No? Well, what do you want to do? Shave it off like mine? Lil, you like their haircuts? You see this snake? This snake, somehow, the first night you got it, it got in mine and mom's bed. And mom didn't even notice it. And I was too tired to even care. <laughs> we slept with a snake. All right, no snakes allowed in the bed, guys. Okay.